Okay. From uh, from last week. Okay. Ross, there's a spot open up here, back there. Either way. Okay. From last week. What do we leave off with? You drew two of these. We did? I remember that. It's been a long weekend. I forgot. Okay. I'm willing to bet that if you look back, you'll see amino acids. That's right. Okay. So how many... So how do we know... How do we know you're drawing an amino acid? Okay. So the two amino acids we drew, one was called glycine. Okay. So two carbons. This uh, marker's just about had it. Okay, double bonded oxygen. What else? Okay. Okay. Two hydrogens, that's right. Then if you put two dots, those are unshared pairs of electrons. Okay. Okay. So this is a hydrogen. And if we're talking about glycine, that would be a hydrogen. Yes. I, I, right. Right. Okay. So as we said, this is glycine. Okay. How do we change this to the next one? which is alanine. Okay? We still know we're dealing with an amino acid because here's our acid side and there is your amino side. Put a methyl group on there. Okay. Well, that was quick. Everyone else had turned theirs in. Okay. Okay. Well, we're skating a thin line. All right. So, the last amino acid that we'll have you be responsible for is this. Same thing. How do we draw an amino acid? Well, it's got to have an acid side. Okay. Okay. Then the only thing that's different. Okay. That is the last amino acid. Valine. Okay. Those are the three amino acids you will be responsible for. They will be. They're for matching. You don't have to draw these. Okay. These will be provided. The difference between the three, of course, is here, here, and right here. That's what makes amino acids different. It's what's attaching to that carbon. 
Uh, we asked and answered that already. Okay. Mine's in a good spot. It's in my coat pocket. This? Glycine. This is just a nitrogen atom with two unshared pairs of electrons. Right here. Don't worry about that. I'm say that again. Okay. Now. Okay, you, we circled these for a reason. This is how you tell the amino acid separate. It's what's attaching to that carbon. You say X marks the spot. It's just a hydrogen. It's glycine. If it's a methyl group, it's alanine. And if it's this, we'll just call it a propyl group, then it's valine. Okay? I would, I would hope people would. But my question is why we're waiting till now to write these down. What's your question of the day? I don't see anybody on their phone. It's in his pocket. Well, we'll take their word at face value. How's that? Let's get started. Okay. Okay, so I want you to. You don't need a door to do this. All I heard was shut up. I don't know. Okay. Okay. So, in your estimation, what would you think is easier to digest? Sugars, which make long, makes a long polymer called cellulose, or are proteins easier to digest? Proteins are easier to digest. Okay? All right. So what we're saying here, amino acids build what? What does it say? Okay, so in other words, if these three amino acids are linked together, that could be a very simple what? Protein. That's right. Okay. Well, they would have to be on file. They would have to be what's called in the system. Okay? So, let's say, for instance, like if you're going to work in any public service job, chances are you might have to have yourself fingerprinted. It's not that you would be in the system, but you would be in a database. There's different types of databases that exist. But what you're talking about when you say, how could they find you? What are you talking about? How, what do you mean by they? The Law enforcement. Yeah. FBI? Okay. CODIS would be one. I, I think it's called CODIS. That's a national database that would include law enforcement, the FBI, like what you had just said. For anyone, I don't, CIA is really not law enforcement. Okay. The, perhaps the DEA or Drug Enforcement Agency. Anytime someone is a, arrested and stands trial, chances are you're fingerprinted. Okay? 
then that gets put into that national database, and that's for identification purposes. Okay. Why is the CIA not Because they're it's more so for national security. I, I could be wrong. Maybe they are part of law enforcement. But to me, it is more so for what we call national security dealing with uh, the military. I think I could be all wrong. Well, then that's going to show up when you get fingerprinted. It's going to show that. Well, you're not going to be identified by just one fingerprint. You do all of your digits and your thumb. So you want to say eight fingers and two thumbs. Well, then I would say that's a silly choice to do, but... Okay, but why are we asking that? Okay. Okay. See here, we're going to finish this chapter, which would include this, okay? What happens if you drop a bar of soap in prison? I don't know. Go figure it out and drop what in prison? A bar of soap in the shower. I don't know. I don't know why we're having this conversation. Let's move forward with this. It's on. Yeah. I think we just do that because should you miss something, you can always go back to the Science Channel and watch that. We've been doing this all year. Why is that? Oh. We're not concerned about that either. Okay. We got this one, and then that's it. Yep, yep, yep. No. It's for your benefit. So if it benefits you, that's payment enough for me. Okay, because it is our job, well, mine, to allow you to become the best possible you that there is, whether it's dealing with carbohydrates, amino acids, dot diagrams, chemical reactions. Good, very good. Because next week we'll find out, well, not find out, we'll start your review next week. Maybe. Let's worry about that next week. Okay. <clears throat> Probably the, the, the best example for this, okay, when you hear the term amylase, okay, lactase, okay, that's another one. They have the same suffix. In other words, when a compound ends in A-N-E, that suffix means what to you? I know, it's an alkene. When it ends in OL, that suffix. It's an alcohol. What about if it ends in OIC? Okay, so all those have the same suffix for a very specific reason. Amulase. Okay. What do those three words have in common? ASP. 
Yeah, they have the same suffix. Okay? So, this, oops, A-S-E means enzyme. Okay? So, this breaks down fats. This breaks down starch. Amylase. Okay? Okay, so what would you suppose this means? Sugars in what substance? Milk products. That's right. Should. It's entirely up to you. That's why you can always go back and watch this. I would venture to th think you'd probably want to know this. That's a hint. I, what did I just say? This is it. Mm -hmm. That is correct. Okay. What happens if, let's say that glycine, alanine, and valine, those three amino acids again, make what? Amino acids build what? Proteins. Okay. Okay. Maybe those are the three amino acids that are responsible for making lactase. But for some reason, maybe maybe aspartic acid is in there instead. Okay. Aspartic acid is just a different amino acid. If it's supposed to be glycine, alanine, and valine to make lactose, or lactase, excuse me, if they can't break that down, what does that mean? They're what intolerant? Yeah, they're lactose intolerant. Because they just don't produce the enzyme that they're supposed to. Okay. That's not the only one. It could be lipase. Okay. What does lipase break down? Fats. Some people maybe can't break down fats. Okay. What do you know about dogs and chocolate? It's it won't, might not kill them. Some it might. Just depends if they're allergic to it and they can't digest it. It just gives them a really bad stomach ache. Okay. So, last slide. Then, I highly suggest that you write two structures down that we're going to cover here in just a moment. Okay, does everyone have this content that wants it? Okay.
said, I highly suggest you write these down. Okay. Those are drawn correctly. There is not a mistake up there. Thank you. They're not the same thing. I know how they're different. Oh, that one right there. One's got an A, that one's got an O. True, you're getting closer. That one right there does not know it's just the high. Did he really make it? Yeah, right. Bottom half. Bottom right. No way. Ribos. 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 So. You, you had said these are exact same compounds, but there's something a little different about this one. Okay? So what that means then, whoever's doing that, please stop. Okay? Who would want to write that down every time? You wouldn't, correct? What's a better way of writing that? Okay. Okay. So rather than writing deoxyribonucleic acid every time, it's DNA. So what happens is, okay. There's no oxygen on here. That's why it's deoxyribose. Okay? This one has that oxygen on there. Okay? So you're going to want to know the difference between those. This is ribose. This is deoxyribose. Then one... What's that? Is that like RNA on the left or what? No. Is this chemistry or... Yeah, it's still it's biochemistry. So so are amino acids. Why are we learning it in physics? science. Because it's part of the chemistry curriculum. This is still chemistry here. Yeah, physical science. I know physical science includes physics and chemistry. So organic and biochemistry is still a physical science. General chemistry is still a physical science. This is just an introduction to that. All of them. Learn this here. I don't know. I'm not. Why did we ever learn any of these elements here? Because this content is worthy of your intelligence. How many times have we said, "I think you people are smart"? Be a matching. Now. The most common sugar that, no, someone said it, glucose, okay, so this, the last structure you need to draw is this guy right here, okay, you said, please stop that. Yes. Okay. As we had alluded to, this GLU means glucose. All right. Does everyone have this content that wants it?
This one? Okay, someone help us out. What sugar is this? Glucose. Glucose. So why did everyone else know it was glucose? Okay. Does everyone have this that wants it? No. No, you do. Okay, you do not have to draw these. You just have to know the difference. Does that make sense? You have to know that this is ribose, that this is deoxyribose, and that this is glucose. I can't. What? No. Yes. With this here, well, this is just has one more carbon in it because I'm just wondering what we're throwing back there. Okay, what do you suppose the formula for glucose is? That's part of it? H12. Okay, that is the formula for glucose, C6, H12, and O6, okay? So, so one, two, three, four, five, six, there's your six carbons. Twelve hydrogens, there's one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, I must have missed one, twelve, okay? And then six oxygens. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Whoa. Just wondering what we're doing back there. Yeah, wow, I definitely have my phone out, yeah. Mm hmm Okay. Now, does everyone have this content that wants it? Okay. So let's see an application of these sugars then. We are.